back to another episode of City Skylines. So today I wanted to start working on some stuff. We need a residential district to fill our demand. So we're going to expand this way, I think. Uh, this way we will get um, possibly the uh, area for ferries and stuff. I think this goes out. Okay, that goes all the way out that direction, so I'm not sure whereabouts it goes, but it does eventually connect up to here, which uh, we can buy out that land, I'm pretty sure, so uh, let's buy out that. And then we can start working on our next area. So, uh, I'm trying to keep all these areas separate from roads. I wanted to experiment with that. Um, main highways or avenues are fine to connect, I think. But um, to always have like a highway going through one of these areas is really important, I think, as well. So, as you can see, our density for the traffic is doing really good doing this method. So, wanted to see if um, we can keep this up and see if we can't, you know, make sure that all our tiles are connected one way or another by highways. So, um, as far as this is considered... Um, I think this might be actually connected to the highway directly. It looks like it might kind of be there. So we won't really need to worry about that too much. This is also connected by a highway. This one isn't. So we're going to have to make an exit somewhere around here. Uh, I know there's an exit here. Well, an exit, not really an entrance. But um, that was to relieve the traffic issue where it was getting a little bit bunched up over here with people trying to go this way. So it's helped reduce the amount of traffic. Plus I gave a dedicated turning lane over here so they can turn that way if they want to. Um, you know, for those few people that actually do use it, I guess. And I did add a three-way entrance here so there's two straight on and then uh, one turning lane which this goes I forget where this goes I think it goes over here maybe no that's that tunnel ah yeah it comes out here that's where it comes out so they get direct access to the city directly so all right so let's start building the highway and then we'll see if we can't bring it around this way and get it ready to connect up to that part. I think that would be important. So we can start by placing some roads down and getting that all set up. And then we can figure out
Bastard, I am really bad at dry, uh, building highway intersections. <laughs> I mean, it works. It should work. But it looks like a spaghetti highway, that's for sure. Um, yeah, we're not going to be talking about that, I don't think. <laughs> it just is. Uh, I did my best to connect it all up. Uh, so there's entrances and exits and everyone can go wherever they need to and everything like that. But it's just really a big mess it, it should work like logistically you have t dedicated turning lanes to go that way um there should be two roads though not three so something like that so there's two going this way and two going that way and then there should be um a three lane here Oh, wrong direction. So three lanes, so you have two lanes coming on and then one one lane and then that merges into four and then they can choose their lanes from there. And this needs to be four because it branches off into four and four, so then this one goes this way, all the way over here, to that exit if they want to go this direction if they wanted to do that. Otherwise they can basically go and I don't even remember what angle I was on. <laughs> I think it's this one so and they can go this way and then turn that way so everything should be set up in a way that it will connect fine. Um, kind of wish it was underground now but we already was we were already going underground so I might try redesigning it again. I don't know. Uh, because we we lose a lot of land doing it this way too, right? So I'm just thinking subway system. That's going to be a chunk of land messed up for underground too, right? But it would be better if it was underground, I think. We'll just put the avenue above ground and then all the complex lines underneath so we'll, that should open up all these areas and stuff. We'll see if we can't do that. Um, some cars are using it but like we don't really need this direction until we connect up to that highway so we do lose a lot of land doing it this way. So we'll see if we can't uh, fix that up. Just maybe mess around with it. Try to get it all underground. I think we should still have connections up here, though. I'll try to design them a little bit neater.
It's time to finally upgrade this part of the city. Uh, we're starting to get a little bit of backup um, on some of the roads. I ended up putting some stop signs in, but I it doesn't seem to actually be working to the extent that I was hoping. So we're going to have to uh, readjust some of these roads and figure out some solutions and stuff like that. Um, now we have a few options. Uh, we could... Looking at the city layout, uh, we could branch off from here down to at least this intersection, which won't really do us much. Uh, alternatively, we could use the main artery right here, which goes all the way up to here. And there is a cross section along here, which can be um, added into an avenue as well. I think there might be even, yeah, that section right there is would be good for an upgrade as well so we're gonna lose some houses and stuff and that we have that cemetery that needs to be emptied because of that so we're gonna have to figure out a solution for all this stuff this will take a little bit of while to um, basically uh, empty uh, it's already at full capacity so we might want to help that along by building some crematoriums in this area maybe two or three of them uh, let's see, where, where, where was that? Healthcare, I think. And then we'll place a few over... Where are these guys going? They're going that way, right? So... So that will help with um, that part done. And then when, when this is empty, we'll be able to start working on that. Alright, so the next thing is to start working on this part. Um, now, we have some options. Uh, we could go with a tram system, or we can go with bicycle lanes. I think there's bicycle lanes with tram systems. Tram tracks, yeah. So, we have a few options. We'd have to figure out another way to get a line over here for trams, but that might help with some of the traffic flow as well. Uh, bicycle with this tram. So I think what we'll do is we'll bring this all the way and then we ran into a problem. So we got park here. We'll see if we can't move that park over on this side. Uh, we still got some problems over here. What do we got here? We have that convenience store that's going to be in our way. Uh, we'll probably won't be able to bring it all the way up here. Um...
So I have tried so many different things to get this intersection going, like, to actually work. I honestly think it just needs a roundabout, to tell you the truth. Um, it's just something that I don't have time today to do because we'd have to tear up this whole section and stuff like that. But um, there's a few different things that I've tried. I've tried doing overpasses to go that way. I've tried connecting it so traffic can just directly go to the roundabout but they're still using this road to turn left which is the only downside to this game is there's not enough support for telling them what lanes and stuff to go to like having um the some mods in order to tell what directions would be great but um yeah it's just one of those things and it's pretty busy at this intersection, so we might be, need to figure something out for that. If we set up something over here and remove that entrance, then it might not be as busy. So uh, that will be for tomorrow, uh, definitely. But I got the traffic to sort of drop a little bit on that side. So now it's flowing a little bit better over there. It's just not flowing as best over here. So uh, we're getting there. It's just going to take some time. But... Outside of that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.